Hello everybody, you are on Andre Mikhailovich channel. Today I want to give you advice on what you need to do before install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Yes, I know, I already made a lot of video about Windows 11 and unsupported computers. Probably we're talking about unsupported computers, but this video will also suit people who just want to install Windows 11 on their devices. So, Definitely, first that you need to do before trying to install Windows 11 on your computer, it's to save data. Yes, it is very important because you definitely don't want to lose your data. If you don't have a lot of data, you can copy all information on your USB stick. It all depends how much data do you have. But if you have a lot of data, a lot of important information, I recommend to use hard drive so you can take another hard drive and this is SATA adapter if you have a lot of information and it has large space you can use HDD drive to copy all information I mean you can use it like USB stick but definitely you need to have SATA adapter you can find it on the internet Amazon Aliexpress etc I think it's not a big deal everything is very simple you just need to connect your hard drive to SATA adapter. After that, connect it to your laptop or computer and copy all necessary important information on your hard drive. If you don't have free flash drive or a hard drive to save your information, you can use Google Drive disk or other popular websites to upload all necessary important information there is option for this actually if you want to update from windows 10 to windows 11 there will be option to save all your files and all your data but in most cases you don't have option to save apps and programs and after you install windows 11 you will need to reinstall all your programs and there is a high probability that all files and all data will be deleted in my opinion, I think it's not a big deal to save all your file and all your information before you want to install Windows 11 on your hardware. Next, before install Windows 11 on your device, I recommend to upgrade your system. If you want to get something that look like stable work, I recommend to have at least 4 GB of RAM. I think it will be the minimum size of the RAM that you need to have to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. I watch a lot of tech bloggers and most of them recommend to have at least 8 GB of memory and in most cases 8 GB of RAM really will be a good solution. But as far that I understand many people have much lower system requirements and most of them have 2 gigabytes of ram 1 gigabytes of ram if we're talking about all devices and they want to install windows 11 but if you install 4 gigabytes of ram you will see that your device will get much better result and much better performance if we're talking about the newer operating system such as windows 11 i could not recommend to install it on HDD drive. It's not necessarily important to buy SSD drive with 500 gigabytes. You can just buy a simple SSD that have 120 gigabytes and install it in your device. And then you will see that your device will work much faster. But if you don't have opportunity to buy an SSD drive and you have an all HDD drive, you can try to install Windows 8.1 on your HDD drive and believe me, it will be fast as SSD drive. On my channel, I have video about this. Link will be here. I compare Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. HDD drive versus SSD drive. Okay, let's get back to Windows 11. If we're talking about upgrade, as I previously said, you need to have at least 4 GB of RAM and SSD drive. Also, if your laptop or computer at least have two free slots, you can install two sticks of memory and then your system will work in dual channel mode. It gives much better performance than single channel mode. For the example, if you install only one rank of memory, your system will work in single channel mode. On the internet, there is a lot of information that proves that dual channel mode is much better than single channel mode. 
In short, it will be better if you forget about using all HDD and install SSD drive and at least have 4GB of RAM in dual channel mode. If you update from Windows 10 to Windows 11, you will have 10 days to decide for yourself do you really like to use Windows 11? If you understand for yourself that you have some issues, problem and your system is not compatible with Windows 11, you can go back to Windows 10. I want to remind you that you have only 10 days. Few words about Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. On my channel, I made several videos where I explain you in detail how to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. There is a method where you can create bootable USB stick or you can update from Windows 10 to Windows 11. All links and all videos will be in the description. The first you definitely need to understand. When you install Windows 11 on unsupported device, your device is unsupported. Understand? Unsupported. So, don't try to find some random drivers because your system will not work stable. For many reasons, a lot of people install Windows 11 on their unsupported devices. They are very happy about that and they don't have any problem. But some devices really cannot support Windows 11. There is people who already install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. They don't have any problem, any issues everything works fine but there is another type of people they install windows 11 they have some issues problem many drivers not work and that's normal because they install windows 11 on unsupported hardware i just want to warn you that probably it could happen in my opinion i think it will be the best if windows 11 will be free available for all devices so you can install it on any computer without TPM 2.0 and other system requirements. But it's not happen yet. It doesn't matter which operating system you want to install on your device, but this advice will suit anyone. Please clean your device and change thermal paste. And believe me, after this process, your device will work much faster. 100%. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. Also, on my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos and I will be glad if you watch all of them. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.